Another artist that you worked with, uh, also 2021, was you produce Wombat's um, Letter to Nikki? Yeah, I did. Now, bro, that was fuck. Like, when I actually like realized that Wombat walked into my studio, I'm like, holy fucking shit! Like, all right, I'm doing this, hey. Like, um, for those who don't don't know Aussie hip hop, Wombat's like one of the biggest names in in the in the Aussie hip hop. Um, world like it's just like he's he's incredible like he's actually incredible um and you know he he, he, he walked in he was really he was nothing but a, a, a good energy <coughs> coffee <laughs> you done you done <laughs> well, I guess so <laughs> um he, he was nothing but good energy. And that's when I called Busa. Busa is one of my photographers. I'm like, bro, like, um, Wombat's coming to the studio. He's like, you what? I'm like, yeah, can you, like, make yourself available? And he's like, I'm on my way. It's like, instantly, like, holy shit, like, Wombat's coming through. Like, that, that was another big eye opener. Like, you know, when 360 hit us up, when, like, Melbourne's been with us for, for forever. So, like, you know what I mean? Like, He's always like, we give him the best treatment, you know what I mean? Like, so, so is all the SP boys, so all the Brotherhood boys, you know what I mean? But like, you know, when you get, when you get outsourced by like, you know, other big names from other, other uh, production companies, you know what I mean? And other, other teams, you know what I mean? Because we all have our own teams, you know what I mean? It's like, it's like football, you know what I'm saying? Like, everybody's in their own team, you know what I mean? Like, you're all in your city. You're in your town, you know what I mean? You got your own fucking, you got your own marketers, you got your own producers, you got your own engineers and all that, blah, blah, blah. But like when someone like Big comes from another another community, another production company, another another team, you know what I'm saying? Comes to you and she's like, holy fucking shit, like we're doing something right. You know what I mean? And um, Wombat hit me up and I was just like, holy fuck, like... Okay, cool. Let's do this. You know what I mean. His management was on the phone. Like, the the they were nothing but organized, and it was great. Like, it was absolutely great. And when we did Letter to Nikki, I was like, "Holy fuck! You giving me this record? Like, are you serious, bro? Like, this is deep. Like, it wasn't just a rap record. Like, his mate died. You know what I mean? Like, his friend. I I got to." Produced that I got to engineer, you know, the letter to Nikki. You know what I mean? Rest in peace, Nikki. You know what I'm saying? Like, and it was just, it was great. It was just so deep. Um, so me, me and Wombat been tied ever since. Like, it was, it was a great moment. It was an absolute fucking great moment. And as far as bar spitters in Australia, like just bars, just barring <coughs> out, where would you put him? Top ten. This year, uh, you were in the, in the studio with Flo's. Flo's De Leone. Shout out Flo's, bro. I swear to God, bro, you're a sick cunt. Um, Flo's, bro, uh, Blood Juice. Shout out Blood Juice. Um, Blood Juice brought him to my studio. Um, Blood Juice did uh, an episode of Flo's, uh, an episode of uh, Spitting Blood with Flo's De Leone. And um, shout out Blood Juice. They're, they're sick cunts. Like, absolute, very well organized people as well. Um, they, um, they broke flows and um, flows, flows and I re related in a few things, you know, because he's done time, I've done time, and, you know, we, we've both been in the game for a while, and, you know, I grew up listening to, bro, it was so embarrassing. Like, he walks into my studio, and, like, I shook his hand, like, bro, I've been listening to you for, like, for fucking years, and I just thought to myself, like, you fucking idiot, like, shut up, like, you fanboy motherfucker, you know what I mean? Like, and I'm just like, bro, like, fuck, like, I'm just gonna sit down. Like, <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Like he he's 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 excellent and um you know we, we did our we did our first record which was Spit in Blood and you know I I I swallowed that pill and not long ago he messaged me and he goes, Slothy you see can't like can I come through again? I'm like, bro, like fucking of course. And, um, you know, we, we began to build a, a relationship, a friendship, you know what I mean? Not just, uh, not just as, uh, as his engineer, but you know what I mean? Like, we literally chilled in the studio for a good 
hour and a half, like just fucking talking and shit, you know what I mean? Because we, we both come from the same shit. And, you know, he's one of the OGs, one of the creators of, of Australian hip hop. And, um, you know, I've been an engineer since day dot and we both relate to a lot of things. And um, I'm ve very, very proud to be by his side and engineering him because he's a very talented person. And, you know, what, what he went through, you know, those three years that he did in jail, and, you know, I can't, I can't, you know, I only did three months myself, you know what I mean? It's nothing compared to the three years, you know, that's 10%. Um, but um, I, I can relate to a lot of things and, and we, we actually get along pretty well and he's not going to lie, he's a very, despite like everything that he spat in the past and like what he did with, with a lot of his music in the past, he's fucking, he's a good person. He's a really good person. And I, I love to see the change in people going from, you know, like I done bad, I learned I do good now. And, and I like finding myself around good people that create good things, great things, and want to be great at what they do, at their craft, you know what I mean? Like, I, I like to sit down at my desk and when I write a record, I like to be great at what I do, you know what I mean? I know he brings that same energy to himself. And he brings that same energy when he comes to the studio. And we just did this record with Don Drino. The other day, shout out Don Drino in the Gold Coast as well, bro. That, that record's hard, bro. That's coming out. Like, I gave you a preview of that. that no comment. Like, <laughs> like, I can vouch, man. That was fucking that fire. That is hard, bro. Like, I can't wait to drop this. Like, it's fucking phenomenal. And, and um, I just produced a beat for him as well. Um, but yeah, flows. I got a lot of time. I got a lot of respect for him. The, the, the lesson. Oh, yeah.